Oh, the corn of garden bed two is getting close to harvest. Uh, these cobs have been filling out. And the tassels have all turned brown. So we've got some corn to harvest in the next couple of days. So that patch did well. I'm looking forward to the corn that is in the terraced garden since they get more sun. They may have done better than these. These corn cobs are not very large. So I think that may have been a deficit of sun. And here we have the patch of... What is this? Brussels sprouts. That's what it is. And this patch is doing very well. I think they were just right about the spacing on these. These are just fitting in on the recommended spacing. And I've already started pulling out some spinach mustard. The plants themselves have been pulling from the ground. And there, because they've finished bolting, they've produced their seed. And I'm about to put some legumes in that spot and grow some beans there. So I'll make use of that row. In the next couple of days I'll pull out the last remaining plants. Since they're really not producing very good leaves anymore, I've got new ones growing here for the next crop of spinach mustard this summer. Well, the Grand Rapids lettuce has bolted and gone to seed. Large heads of seed here, so I'm going to have many heirloom seeds to use for next year. It's kind of interesting, this lettuce. It's made kind of a decorative wall. Interesting to keep in mind about the way it looks when it bolts. And behind that is large shrub size marigolds. They did very well in this bed. And behind them is carrots. I've got one carrot plant that decided to bolt. And there you can see the carrot flower. Very interesting. And you can see in here there is the start of a carrot. I haven't really been investigating their root at all. I wonder, it looks kind of small still, so I won't disturb it. Behind all of that is the bib lettuce. Bib lettuce has really gotten tall and bolted. This is shoulder height for me. It's quite a lettuce plant. <laughs> but, that's uh, the second garden.